Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art, and this is a really quick little rant. Uh, I about split a gut today when I read on E&E &E News that um, Arnie Gunderson said that new data's come out showing that Fukushima's worse than Chernobyl. No shit, Sherlock. Like, this is the scientific mind, the insanity of the Western scientific mind. They create this thing called nuclear fission, nuclear physics. They don't understand a word of it. They have no idea what they're doing. They're in the dark like little moles in the dark. We have a big fucking catastrophe. All these nuclear power plants are now fucking falling apart. And they're going, hmm, maybe it's really dangerous. Maybe it's super bad. I mean, this is the thing. Everybody talks about the WHO and the IAEA. And the reality is anybody who knows anything about nuclear and what the real nuclear story is, is the IAEA holds supremacy over the WHO. And they do not allow any reports to come out that says that nuclear is harmful. And that's why we have the independent WHO. Those are the physicians and doctors that worked with the uh, United Nations and the World Health Organization who got up to here with having their information suppressed. So... Uh, Fucking hell, man. I mean, it is just beyond comprehension that we have the scientific community waiting four fucking years to finally say, wow, Chernobyl isn't as bad as Fukushima. I mean, I guess this is just a shout out to Arnie Gunderson, to the scientists at Beyond Nuclear, to these, we need them to get more vocal. Being nice and saying, oh, well, we have the data and things look like it's not going really good. And we really need more data to really understand what it's doing to the Pacific Ocean. And we're going to have to compare the data on the cancer for the children that are, is increased and to make sure we can exclude other reasons. That's insanity making. That's called gaslighting. That's called abuse. That is called a crime against humanity when scientists refuse to have a critical mind. When scientists sit and blurb out that the Pacific Ocean is too big to be affected by five nuclear meltdowns pouring directly into the fucking Pacific Ocean. And cancer rates going off the charts among children, among young people, young adults. It's outrageous. So I I about split a gut when I read that article. And I don't know about anybody else. But, you know, Arnie Gunderson, I get it. He, he worked in the nuclear industry. And he has to talk. I think he worries about how much money he can make. I mean, if all these people would start to realize that the universe provides us with the well-being. it is Money is not the issue. There's plenty of money. It's a human invention. We can have as much of it as we allow into our lives or as much as you want in your life. The thing is, most people don't really want that much money and they don't believe they can have it, so they don't get it. They talk negatively out to themselves all the time. And, you know, I, I mean, I really am a big advocate for tapping because it's one thing to meditate, but when you actually in, intentionally change your own meridian lines and release blocked energy, you're going to get results. I mean, the universe provides human beings with support. We're connected like the whales and the dolphins and all the other animals on this planet that are connected to the well-being of the planet and to the universe. We do not have to live in poverty. We only live in poverty and abjection because we allow it. We think that's normal. And, and really, honestly, for Arnie Gunderson to, you know, be saying, well, I, I heard that whole article. And, you know, the information he gives is really great. I mean, why didn't we hear this stuff four fucking years ago? I mean, why now? On the fourth anniversary, we're coming up on the fourth anniversary. That is an outrage. I mean, it's so far beyond control. So I'm going to stop ranting, but I just had to blow off steam before I read a little bit of the chapter of this book that I'm going to be reading. Because I don't know about you guys, but we need to put pressure on the scientists to have some fucking integrity and to have some courage and to believe that the universe is going to provide for them instead of them worrying about their cozy little houses. Because when their wives get cancer, their kids get cancer, I mean, it won't matter to them. 
So we're at critical stages, and it is beyond the time when people are being nice. The scientists have got to stop being nice to the fucking nuclear industry. I mean, there is no reason for us to acquiesce. We did not give them permission to destroy the planet. And their paradigm is not my paradigm, and it shouldn't be yours either. And this whole business about the new world order, well, you know what? It's here. They're, they've done it. Mission accomplished. What do you think Bush meant by that? He didn't mean the fucking Iraq war. That was all bullshit. That was laying the groundwork for, like, tidying up the details. And you know what? I don't know whether they planned Fukushima or not. But they certainly are seeming like they did because they've ignored it for long enough. It's, I mean, the poor people of Japan are now completely contaminated. I mean... And people don't even know over there. I have a client of mine who goes back and forth to Japan. I have stopped talking to him about a year ago about it because he thought I was way off track. And I just read him some headlines from E&E News, and he was like, oh, my God, I had no idea. I mean, this is how outrageous it is. And I'm sorry, Arnie, but that is just, I don't know what we're going to have to do. I mean, I'm glad that you're finally coming out, but it kind of really made me mad that after four years you're beginning to acknowledge that it's worse than Chernobyl. We don't need data to tell us that it's worse than Chernobyl. The freaking data from Chernobyl is completely meaningless. The stuff that we've seen, the IAEA has prevented the real data from coming out. I mean, thank God for Helen Caldicott. She's really seriously the only person we have in the scientific community who is willing to, like, call these lying rat bastards what they are. And they're rat bastards. And they're murderers. And she's the only one of the scientists who comes out. And I... I Anyways, I am going to end here, but I, I hope this message reached some scientists and some nuclear scientists and some nuclear workers and people in the journalism industry and people who are just so coerced and so battered and so gaslighted that they're afraid to stand up for themselves. Do you see what that says? Love is greater than fear. And we have to love each other. And we do love each other. That's the thing. We do love each other. And it's time for us to act with love. Standing up against Fukushima and against the nuclear cartel is an act of love. And for us, we need to have more acts of love. And part of that is standing up for humanity. So I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to read my book right now. And um, sweet dreams. Call anybody that you can, any of the scientists, and poke them and try to get them active. Ciao, you guys.